Hello everyone, hello, hello, I am your hostess today, Katharina Game. I am here, we are on session 156. Will we make it to 200? It's possible, depends on our schedule and how fast they get through stuff. But joining us yeah. today is Isaac, Avedon, and Red. Verdant is MIA today, therefore I get to control his character. How are y'all feeling? That answers that question. Game? I don't think I could get a better deal with Verdant's brew and that fay. <laughs> I can't, can't get another take skin. his stuff. <laughs> Hold on, he's not here to defend himself. It's true. Here to defend himself, you can't. Yeah, take I got his punched room. while I was away, so. Yeah. <laughs> you got punched while you were away. Yeah, remember that yeah. was the damage. That if you, the longer you're away, the more damage you take. Oh, sorry, I haven't been late. But like maybe I told you I was going to be late. Yeah, that doesn't stop you from taking <laughs> damn. That was the first time I've been late in literally three years, Kath. You can tell your boss Excuse you're going to be late. It doesn't stop the ride up. Are you lying? I'm never also, late. One hundred percent lying. You're lying. Mm -mm. <laughs> nah. -uh. You've been late so <laughs> many times. What do you mean? And then he would ride his motorcycle. No, -uh. like, mock <laughs> Jesus. Just Tokyo <laughs> Drift blaring in his headset or something. I'm sorry. A deception of 17 does not meet or beat <sighs> my, you know, intuition. Hey, it's like late lives. by like 10 minutes, but I was literally at work. I think you were late like 30 minutes one time. No. It's okay. All right. Remember the time he fell asleep? Oh, that was a fun one. Did I? Yeah. So, I don't think I did. To recap last session for our lovely chatters. Hi, chat. Say hello to chat. Hi, uh, chat. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Uh, to recap hello. what happened last session, um, they are lost in some kind of rainforest with very, very large trees. They are currently being led by some kind of ghost paladin who isn't a ghost of some kind. And uh, they also ran into a fae last session. They didn't want to play with the fae. One of them gave the Fae a sandwich, and the Fae gave them a little bit of water. With that was May. Good or worse uh, water. So, uh, today, we have just woken up. Abaddon has successfully gotten through his sickness and is finally uh, no longer going to probably die this morning. Um, yeah. He still feels like crap, though. So, Abaddon is very pale for his, <sighs> his butt. And uh, everyone else is waking up just fine. Stretch out your limbs. It's still raining, though. It's it's raining a little less than it was before, but it's time. And uh, and and everyone basically has a bag of holding at this point. Like I don't know what to tell you. A lot of people have a bag of holding. Mm -hmm, I know. Mm -hmm. Well, that is your choice. So here we are, waking up to the bright, shiny day. What would you all like to do today? Uh, hey, find wherever we're finding. I swear. Can we get Verdant to put water inside of our bag of holding. I don't I'm know if good. he if if he did that spell set before he left last time. Let me see if it's on his spell list. Hold on, Verdant. Let me check and see how much water's in my bag of holding right now. Because of this. Yep. It has it's it's basically full at this point. You have been collecting rainwater all, all right. right. But understand Fantastic. it is rainwater. It is not clean water. The rainwater is yeah. pretty clean. You can drink you can drink rainwater. Sure. It is potable. Mm hmm We do that up to here sometimes too. Sure. Well I have fucking let me check. Hold on, that's a you, you must are understand. You sure that it's it's oh. not straight from the sky. It's falling through trees. Okay, that make that's a little different. Mm -hmm. oh, be, it's okay. We have cooking pot. We'll boil it. And yes, I am sure that it is full because it rained a very heavily second shift. All right, guys. I got 500 pounds of water. It's like, what, 36 gallons? No, that's not right. 64 oh. cubic feet. Let's just do it. 478 gallons of water. And how, how much, much is that in, in metrics? 
How many gallons? Sorry, that, Isaac. That's six, 478. No, it is six, no, it is 62 <laughs> gallons. 62. Sorry, this is what D and D Beyond tells me here. Well, your bag of holding can hold up to 500 pounds, and each gallon of water is eight pounds. There's 7.48 gallons in one cubic foot of water, and there's a total of 478.72 gallons of water. Yes, but you will reach the 500 pound weight limit before you will reach your space limit. 500 oh. pounds of water to a cubic foot of water, it says is 60 gallons and some change. All right, first of all, why is D&D Beyond lying to me? I guess they also, wanted to. Also, the know. other issue is that once a bag of holding is completely full, it will touch the edge and start seeping through. Yeah. So therefore... Only for a little bit. Yeah, it it's like just below 500 because otherwise it would leak out. Yeah, I'll make sure it's not leaking. I'll pour out a little bit if I have to. Mm -hmm. So it's it's about 60 gallons. Yeah. Of of rain water that needs to be purified. I wonder if I could drop this on somebody. At least just but okay. Please don't. So, Mr. Paladin, what are we trying to find again, exactly? Are you asking your ghost paladin? Ghost. And his name is? Sir Reynard. Oh, <laughs> yes, me! What was your question, young man? Where are we exactly going again? Sorry, ah, friends Froggy. That's okay. Good morning. Good morning. I wish I could give you a nice hot cup of coffee. Uh, we were taking you to the tree, the tree that eats spirits, because uh, it's my lifelong goal to be able to take out that tree and save the spirits within. Yes. Well, yes. Okay. Now, we are still a few days off, but um, I know a good way there. Don't worry. All right. We are going a little bit slower than I expected, though. I forgot you all have to walk there, but so it might be a little longer than my initial uh, guessation. Uh, Elias, do you have any? Lovely. Do you have anything that could purify water? Uh. Let me check if I if Elise has purify food and water on her character sheet. Hang on. Clerics get that, right? I believe so. I believe that's like the religious group. So I think that's like clerics, paladins, some wizards. Purify food and drink would be for clerics, druids, paladins, and artificers. Yeah. First level, first level yes. spell. She can get it. She didn't do it today, but I don't think that's an issue because she hasn't done anything else. So, let me just do a quick thing. Hang on. Always prepared. Okay. She has it now. Sweet. Can you just stick your hand in the bag, please? Now, now it only purifies five foot radius of sen sphere centered on a point of your choice within range. Five foot sphere? Five foot radius sphere. So if I'm in that sphere... It wouldn't purify what's in your bag, though. <laughs> what if you your stuck bag... your hand in the bag? How big is the space inside your bag? Uh, let me look. About 64 cubic feet. That is way more than she can purify. <laughs> well, how how intensive is the, uh, you, the spell? I, essentially, I would say it's a first level spell. So everyone would want to, like, fill their water skins and then, like, put them together and then she could purify it, you know? Yeah. Or, like, you could fill the cooking pot full of water and then she can purify it. Yeah. All right, everybody want to put their water skins together and we can do this. Okay, yeah, I'll do that I too. Filled mine up oh. with rain I filled mine up with rainwater earlier. 
Yeah. She can she can purify everything within that five foot radius sphere. Isaac takes the the top off the off of his water purifier just to make sure that the enchantment doesn't mess it up. <laughs> You're so smart, cause it was gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna cause it kept it where it was. Okay. So everybody, I'm assuming you filled it up from the bag. Yeah. Whoever has a thing of water, uh, Elise will purify it. Me. Me. That does take one of her first level spell slots, but she did it. Thank you. All right, back up. Put my little stopper back in. Meanwhile, Wait. I'm going to go to the fire. And I'm going to grab... I know it's raining now. I don't need it to be on. I'm grabbing some of the the coal pieces that were in the fire. Make it a water filtration system? Well, yes, but I'll... I mean, yeah, kind of. Good move. I was going to do the I'll same. Take some of that, and I'll break it in my hand so it's kind of dusty. And like, here, bag of holding. And I'll I... sprinkle the charcoal dust into the water. What are you doing? Says what? Elise. That gets rid of any diseases, so you don't have to use all your spells. It cleans it. Oh. Uh, you can see her kind of short-circuiting. You are making the water black? I mean, it'll look a little murky, but it's perfectly fine. We can run it through some sand and gravel afterwards. But I... Yeah? But I have the spell. Yeah, but I, I didn't want you to have to use all of your magic just to do 60 gallons of water. But, but like, we... we now you've... It's... Okay. Okay. In, I'm in here fairness. to make life easier. At least you make life very easier. Then don't Put weird stuff in your water. Oh, you're in trouble. What I do? I don't want to charcoal. I don't want to taste burning <laughs> things in my water. Isaac waddles off while they're having <laughs> while Elise is scolding him. I'll put I'll put the charcoal in my pocket. <laughs> Might need this. For he's, like, he's like a kid who got caught, so he just stuffs the stick in his pocket. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, it is morning. <laughs> I missed having you all. She just rubs her I, temple. As do I. I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it was quieter in the cell, probably. Uh, I mean, if you don't count the screams. I mean, yeah, that would get annoying. I'm not sure if annoying would be the word I would use. Traumatized. I don't know. You're listening. You listen to somebody scream for hours on end, it gets real annoying. Anyway. <laughs> Isaac's just packing up. <laughs> Isaac's just packing up stuff. So while walking, you're like, oh, Elise, I learned something kind of interesting. You might be a little interested in. What did you learn? Um, my family used to be from the area that we were in. Oh, interesting. Isaac's mouthing the book. Are you mouthing yeah, to, it was... to Elise <laughs> uh... behind Red's back? The uh, she you know, my there clan the moved book. away. He, she has the book. Uh... Isaac gave her the book to give to Red. Oh yeah. Sorry, Red. Go ahead. But yeah, I thought it was just really cool that you know used to live in this area. That area. Well, in the other area. That's neat. Like, like in uh the city of Crow Glen, or like in that weird uh cult like the, place. Well, so they had a book in there of like how to catch shifters. I guess that's what I'm called as a shifter, by the way. Uh huh. And there's like different weaknesses that they have, like ways you can catch them. But the only entry they had was that my family used to live here, but they moved away before the the clan settled in. Hmm. So I might have 
relatives somewhere. That would be really cool, yeah. Then you can meet all of my brothers. If you... Yeah. That's how that works. Yeah. yeah there's more of them. I mean, that would be really, really cool. For sure. And you said that there was a book? Uh, yeah. I, I looked at it like I was in the, uh... Um, when they sold me. <gasps> She looks at Isaac. I didn't get shit for him. You can't call it selling. <laughs> no, this means you didn't get a good enough deal. I got robbed. <laughs> but did you keep the book? No. No, you didn't you didn't want the book? You didn't like the book? Oh, well, Isaac had it, but we had to get rid of it to stuff a vampire in a bag. Ah. I see, I see. What if we could, what if we could magicify it here? That'd be really cool, huh? Isaac's like holding one arm on a tree right now, trying not to laugh. I mean, yeah. yeah. I don't know what more we'd learn, though. I already read the entire entry for me. You did? You wouldn't, you wouldn't want to keep it for, like, memory's sake? Maybe you could use it as, like, leverage with other people? What do you mean, leverage? Like, yeah, here's book information about other clans. You know, maybe there's other clans in the area that don't know who they are, you know? I guess that could be interesting. I'm not sure if I'd want to use it for leverage, though. Or knowledge. Sharing knowledge. That'd be interesting. Oh, maybe if we go back there, I'll, I'll find a pile of books on the ground. I'd like to talk to that one big shifter again anyway. He he knew my family. He looked very imposing. He didn't look too bad. N no, imposing. Strong. Yeah. Imposing. Yeah. Yeah. She just Kath, looks I at passed, you and shakes her I, head. I passed my fear check. I wasn't scared of him. Yeah. Still. Gosh dang it. They can still be imposing and you not be fearful of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was really big. Okay. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get well, since you're not if... interested in the book. It's a weird way to say that. So what's the plan for today? <laughs> you just gotta keep it. I guess we continue forward. Yeah, we're heading towards a big tree. The biggest of all the trees. So, uh, Isaac has uh, has uh, yeah. tapped up his tent and everything. That person's quit giggling over there. Because he knows Elise has it. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, let's... Uh... Get going. Yes, it out. I'll take down my tent too and pack it up. Ooh. Pack it up, pack it in. Let I was just begin. about ready. I hate you so much. I was going to. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to clear my throat and start. Got him. The office prime. Pack yes. It up, pack it in. Let me. <laughs> I'm a truck now. Chick, 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 chick. <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying right now. <laughs> it's the start to uh, the song Jump Around. But instead of the original person saying it, somebody put it through AI to make it seem like Optimus Prime was saying it. So, <gasps> Get off I your see. feet and jump around. Jump around. <laughs> Sounds like Richard Nixon. <laughs> we can't do a good Optimus Prime. I yeah. see. So you all pack up your belongings and start back on the very, very large path through Aww. your giant woods. Dang it. What are you dang it -ing? James Earl Jones died. That is not D&D &D material. I'm sorry, Don't Darth Vader. Don't make sad things in the middle of the game. I'm sorry, my wife's the one that hit me with it. It's her fault. I posted that in the chat like three hours ago. Who? I don't pay attention to your chat. Darth Vader. Amazing actor, by the way. Oh, that guy. That's good. 
So you all are going down the path, and we're not going to talk about sad things unless it's sad things happening mm -hmm. in the game. I just got that on my feed. Yeah, crazy. So yes, we're on a nice path. Yep, nice path. Nice path. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky I was pulling up your friend's uh, health sheets off camera. Okay. No, don't you, don't you touch our oh. friends. Hold on, which friends? The they ones that you sent back five. home and haven't talked to in a while. Well, uh, Red's doing everything he can to not think about that. <laughs> it stresses him out a lot to think about that, so we're I'm not visiting that part of my brain just yet. We um, keep joking Red's enough, problem. it might not be a problem anymore. Future Red's problem, I'm not ready for it right now. I have no idea what to do. So where are we head? Like, how far away is this tree? Oh, um, well, since we took so long yesterday, it, um, uh, maybe, uh, Let me guess, the tree days? moved. Oh, boy. Listen, hold on, seven days? Listen, we were four uh, days a few days ago, like, yesterday. Okay, well, I don't need to rest, so I just assumed we'd keep going, and then I realized you all need to sleep, and that takes, like, 12 hours, so, um... Oh, I just assumed you were going to say the tree moves. No, it's very, very well rooted. Like this place? Yeah, I just, when you said more time, I just straight up assumed the tree moves and we're going to have to chase it down. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't need to sleep or eat. And so, like, for Maybe. me, it would have taken about four days, but, uh, you know. Yes, like please adjust gestures. calculations for the mortals. <laughs> like probably seven more days unless All right, we well, stop and play with things like the fae I mean, honestly this group we're gonna play with the things yeah unless it's oh, the fae i really don't want to oh speaking of which he pops out his sending stone i'm gonna try this get in caleb still alive if you get this partially tell Kasula. We're not dead. Love you. Bye. As soon as it ends, you get fax feedback. Very loud feedback as you're walking down the path. I'll take it. Did I get any? I got fax feedback. Did I get any words you whatsoever in the feedback? You couldn't make out any words in the feedback. You just heard the extremely loud screeching sound. Okay, so I could tell that one failed. Yes. All right, well, that one failed. Lisa, if you want to take an attempt at it. Oh, wait, no, you don't have it. It's Abaddon, isn't it? Uh, I have nope. a sending stone. I don't have sending. Oh, yeah, check your book. See if it's, like, working now? I'll look at my book, Kath. You look inside your book, and uh, all everything that you've written is still there, but no replies from your girl. There's still nothing. And, all right, well. And just so you know, Abaddon. Mm-hmm. Everything you've written since you got here is still in the book. Just so you know. You've been here for what, two days? Yes, you've slept twice. So time is weird here, I assume. Oh, that reminds me. So, Kath, before we got up, I mm -hmm. prayed, trying to find an answer of where I am. Uh-huh. Did anything come of that? Well, since you're asking me when you're in the middle of your day walk, no, not this time. Damn. Got him. That's tough. I feel like I'm being punished here. Try again. <laughs> And ask me when you're actually at encampment. <laughs> ask again later. <laughs> the cat eight ball has spoken. You shook the eight ball and they said ask again later. Answer unclear. Oh, damn. <laughs> I hate this thing. <laughs> oh my god, now I want to make an item for D&D &D where you pray to God, but it's just a magic eight ball. That'd be so good. Every time you ask the god, I just shake an eight ball to see if they gave you the right answer or not. <laughs> Some that'd trickster so cleric's good. version of augury. Oh my god, that'd be so good. That'd be so good. Okay. So we're traveling down this path together. Um, 
the paladin is leading the way forward, the, the ghost paladin, that's not a ghost. Uh, and it's, it's still raining. I know I didn't turn on the rain for this scene, but it is still raining. Yeah, while we're walking, I just want to keep an eye on the, uh, the path we're traveling. I'm looking for heavy areas of washout, like flooding examples. Yeah, Isaac will That's be doing the same. The last I... thing I want is a flash flood to, you know, we get six days down the road, flash flood, and now we got five more days of traveling. Speaking of which, come here, Elise. Huh? He just grabs her by the waist, Oi! takes a rope, ties it around her waist, and then ties it to him. All right, there we go. Oi! Why? If we get a flash flood or something, I want at least to be close. If we get a flash flood, you're tying her to an anchor. Well, I mean, <sighs> I can get out, and I can pull her out. Blink, blink. How much space did you give me? <laughs> About five foot. Okay. I'm not an animal. Red, Elise is now attached to Isaac's hip. How do you feel about this? Confused. I don't know why he did that. Here, Isaac, I don't like... Well, here, you, can he... attach, you can attach her to you, and he just attaches it to Red's wrist. No, stop, slap his wrist. <laughs> I am not an attachment. Look, yeah. if we look, if we take her eyes off her... Mud's going to come down from I, the hill and she's going to go flying Isaac, off. Hey, hey, hey. I just stop my fingers from him. Hey, reach my bag and hand a potion to Elise. What's this? It's a swimming potion. Oh, yeah, there you go. That'll work. I'm not so much worried about the swimming. It's more along the lines that we have a running pattern of Elise disappearing. Well, so call me a little bit. To be fair, Elise, Elise has disappeared once. And it was a supernatural means, meaning that rope wouldn't do anything besides, you know, get cut in half. Fine, I'll yield. And if something decides to grab you because you are you. Oh, yeah, I'd at least push her up a tree or something. But she'd still be attached to you. So if something grabs you and takes off running, I don't need her being drug along the ground. I'd like to see something try. Did you not see the evidence of the big ass beast that's out here that could eat all of us that could easily mess it. us up yeah i will give it heartburn i'm not worried about you i'm worried about road rash from elise being drug along Wait, uh, true i'd rather not yeah so something happens i, I will yield up oh kath is my hair still experiencing no gravity you look majestic, by the way, and it annoys me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> like, you look majestic, and it annoys me. Yeah, I don't know when this potion's going to wear off, guys. Uh, honestly, both parts of me, one hopes it, one hopes it just wears off. Oh, now hold on other. just a minute here, Kat. <laughs> At least drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it. <laughs> you well, see all right, guys, we know that she has that asset ready. <laughs> And you all thought I was crazy. There I is still no, do. There is no currently signs of any kind of mud uh, falling. <laughs> I, I swear I saw it. I swear. So, but the paths are getting kind of muddy. Um, how is everybody's shoes? They got boots. I, I've got walking boots. I got traveling boots. Can I hit a long rest button? Well, did we you? did, not now. No, I didn't. Were you supposed to? Yes. Fairness, he's probably stoked he lived. Yeah. You, you yeah, I forgot have, to hit the button. You wouldn't have gained any of your things back today. What things? Your stats. No, I know that. That's all I meant. From yeah, no, I was, I was talking about my spells. Okay. Tilly. You do have all your spells back. Verdant's flying on his broom because he doesn't want to touch the ground with his boots. I push him off the broom. No. 
He flies out. I'm of not hurting him, Kath, but you say I can't bully him, okay? <laughs> I want a muddy paladin. You want a muddy paladin? Yes. No. Are you Aww. throwing mud at him? Why well, didn't I push him off his roof? Why did my D&D... What? My D&D Beyond exhaustion thing has changed. Every time you take a long rest, it takes exhaustion. No, no, no. There's a new new system they're implementing. I don't have that system yet. I do for some reason. Stop breaking things. I'm not. That's catch I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm using the legacy one still because they're they're supposedly legacy now. But it's apparently the new ones for level one. It's a negative two to d twenty tests. And negative five feet to speed, and then it goes down. Sorry, it goes up by negative two every exhaustion level, and another negative five to speed per level now instead of everything else. Never get exhaustion. Got it. Yeah, that's awful. You still die at six? Yes. And what are you at right now? One. Okay, rookie numbers. Got to bump those up. I was at three, Kath. <laughs> I know. I thought you were like at five. No, I was yeah, at I three. Also I lost like you close to that, but no. No, that's three. I'll be honest. I completely thought that you were like odd five, and if you got another level of exhaustion because you couldn't sleep or something, you were just gonna be dead. No. Okay, so we are walking through the forest here. Um, you don't really see a lot of creatures out today. Uh, with all of the rain and everything, it seems that things are kind of staying off the path. Maybe they're hunkered down in their own lairs or whatever. Uh, but you are not seeing a lot of wildlife out and about. You know, that's bothering me, Reb. What? The, the one line. Being on the ground is death. Yeah. Kind of wondering we if we could move faster if we were up in the trees. No, we are we are not fit for that. Isaac looks up. How is the cover? Like, could you walk across it? It's possible, yes. With the if you have like the tree limbs are thick enough. What do I see with my dwarven eyes? Not shit. <laughs> I mean it looks like really thick tree limbs. Um it kind of looks like really trick really thick tree limbs. Yeah, I've been up there. The the uh the monkeys. That's where they live. Oh. But they can't be reached by the big lizards down here. Being on the ground is death. That and I'm assuming with all this rain is probably gonna be some flooding. That's what I was kinda wondering about. I was also wondering if like if it if it was enough that we could just walk across like the canopy itself was like ground up there. Because then we're like going past all the obstacles and everything, oh, and we Kath, don't have to worry I, about it. Kath, I was up there. Do I think that's plausible? Um, it is. You could, but for those that are not accustomed to walking on branches, it would be difficult for a bit. So the low dex people are going to be in trouble. Or yeah. she said for a bit. Yeah, but. You know, it only takes one slip up to fall 400 feet. I don't think it's going to be good for any of us. I mean, in fairness, I'm the only one. Abaddon can fly and Sparkles here is just going to float in his broom. Oi. Not you, him. Ah. <laughs> I said that because my paladin's giving off sparkles. <laughs> yeah, you're. A I'm sorry, you we have two about... shiny paladins right now. <laughs> I don't think you have to worry about the the thralls of gravity there. I don't actually. <laughs> uh, it's plus nice. the monkey folk probably don't like this guy at all. I mean, so far what we found, there's not really anything in this forest that does. I haven't tried speaking to the monkeys before. Well, I can communicate with animals. Ah, that would make a lot of sense then. Are you partial to monkeys? Partial to most animals. Ah, interesting. 
Interesting. Why? No, no reason. What you do to the monkeys? You're gonna make me roll. <laughs> that seems right. <laughs> no, the, no reasons. No, no reasons. Nothing. Isaac can't see shit, and Red does like, ah, hey, you know what? He seems likable. That seems chill. <laughs> he wouldn't lie to me about that. No, it's just, it's, it's social stuff. Red doesn't understand it. Blind and just, gullible. Huh? <laughs> Not gullible. So about halfway through your all's day of trudging through this water, again, it has not stopped raining. You all are soaked. Just absolutely drenched. No one has taken any kind of abilities to try to stop themselves from getting rained on. No umbrellas, nothing over them. So everyone is currently soaked. Everyone's cloaks, if you even had your cloaks up, all of your cloaks are soaked through as well. So you are very heavy. All of your clothes are filled with water. I don't like it. She's going after our, th our athletics, guys. What? I'll just pass around the, the cleansing orb of prestidigitation to dry our clothes. Thank you. <laughs> it works for a little uh, bit. I've been doing that for the most of the majority of the time we've been walking. Why did it yeah. get brighter in my room? Did you turn on light mode? No, I turned towards the, the, the open window. That makes sense. Did you use Is a spell? the light outside? Usually, no, it's kind of no, the sun no, the sun has blown up. Yes, there's light outside. Well, oh, then shit. you turn the on light up. mode. What do you mean? Outside? Oh my gosh, Mr. Buddy. Okay, so y'all are walking down the path. <laughs> I have the stupid. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit, Abaddon's got the stupid. Ah, my eyeball. Stop rubbing it. I. How do you know? <laughs> how How do you know? Get out of my walls, Kath. <laughs> I'm your Get DM. out of my walls. I see everything. You see Abaddon over there just rubbing his eye out. <sighs> like staring into the voice like, where the friend is that voice from? I did. Abaddon's having a stroke. Yeah. Abaddon, roll me a wisdom Abaddon, stand. do you yeah. smell toast? I, why? Two. <laughs> Abaddon, you it's are... almost an 18. You are... How'd you get an 18 on a 2? No, it was almost an 18. It oh. rolled from a 4 to an 18 to a 2. Okay, okay. Abaddon seems to be mumbling to himself and rubbing his eyes a whole bunch. It happens. Abaddon, you feel as if your skin is crawling. Oh, hell. No, uh... Crawling in my skin. What do you mean by crawling? You just, you feel like there's just a sensation of crawling all over your skin. Meh. Rub his back. Why'd you say that? I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I hate it. I'm sorry. You don't, got fail, me. don't fail your no. wisdom saving throw. Right, dude. No, because when I worked at the golf course, I'd go and work on the trees, and I'd feel like there'd be spiders and things on me all the time, and I had to ignore it. And there was actually a spider one time. I'm like, that's great. Mm. Hey, buddy. Just in my hair. Chilling. Mm. <sighs> so, um, you know, that's that's what you're that's what you're dealing with right now, Abaddon. In-game, that is what your character is currently dealing with. You feel mm, as wonderful. if everything's crawling around, oh, like, all over you. Hey, dude. <laughs> Sorry, you have failed two wisdom saving throws. <laughs> a real life one and an in game one. And my real life one failed. Um, and so you all, you all see Abaddon over there, kind of freaking out. He like flips his hair and he checks it and he like runs his hands through it and he like brushes his arm and rubs right. his arms together. Are you okay there? Rubs his eye. Abaddon. Everything you heard. Talk to me, Goose. Ah, it's itchy. Everything's itchy. Ah, uh, does Abaddon got fleas? No, uh no. Red, I don't, red, don't get close to him if he's got fleas. I don't have fleas. Red, while looking at Abaddon, you get just, fleas. you look at him and, and you start to like 
feel as if your skin is starting to crawl while you're watching Abaddon do this. Like, it starts, it starts in, like, on your chin, under your beard, and then it, like, spreads. Red, hmm, hold on. Do we have a, um, we don't have a, a skill for composure. What do you think would be composure? <laughs> the, the not freaking out thing? No, about the fleas comment. Oh, uh, um, probably either wisdom or intelligence. Okay. So, as he, I, uh, Abaddon itching, I'm like, huh. I'm gonna look at from Abaddon, just kind of trying to discreetly just scratch my beard because I. I don't want another police comment. <laughs> Red's over there like, I'm not catching those comments, no. I, I, don't, I Do you think I kept my composure enough to, for them to know that that comment deeply bothered me? I don't think anybody noticed. Yeah. Okay, cool. I just do focus on his own self. Bro, why do you make it feel like my whole body is just cast? I hate that. Well, your whole body is itching. Um, no, it doesn't. Isaac, you as as you're looking over at Abaddon, and and like he's he's like doing the little dance now too with it. Like it's he's like sh sh scratching at his legs now. It's like his legs of it too. And you he's also gonna... feel yourself start to to feel a little itchy around your face, around your fingertips. And it's, he's gonna it's... look at his hands. So you look down at your hands, and they're just. I mean, that's. You're covered in water because it's raining. Yeah, he's like shaking his hands a little bit. He wants to make sure there's like no bugs or anything. I mean, no, it's just it, you're soaked because it's raining. It's been raining all day. Even when you take it off, you immediately get soaked again, you know, because it's... I'm not worried about the being soaked. I want to see if there's any like creatures possibly on him. I mean, roll me a perception. I don't like that you said that. I can make you roll things. You're just picking on me at this point. I mean, you don't see anything other than the water on your skin. And your beard. And your hair. Right, I'm going to look away from Abaddon. Okay. The itching continues. It's It's starting to spread even more. On me? On Isaac. And Oops. on Red. No. And you see that Elise is now starting to can scratch just, her arm, too. Can I just can I just try to ignore it? I mean, you can, but it's... I'm ignoring it. Okay. Hold on, I can see Elise is starting to itch, too. Yeah, Red seems unbothered. You see him, like, scratch his chin once or twice, and then he's he doesn't do anything. Alright, hold up. Red, are you itching also? No. Don't lie to me. I got an actual reason. No. Whatever. Is everybody else itching too? Because I am. Obviously. Well, I know you are. Elise, I see you starting well, to dance over there. No, no, it's just I I I think I'm I'm too wet. It's just it's like between my fingers, I'm getting really itchy. Yeah, it's my beard, my hands, my face. And it's spreading. Oh. Yeah. Well, maybe we're just getting too wet. Okay. In all this Let's time that we've done things, has it oh has it ever been just we got too wet? Well, we've never stood in the rain this long before. We've also never stood in the Fey realm. Hold oh, hold on. Let's go. Let's go to the side. We'll set up a lean to. We'll dry off. Okay. So you go to the side and you you pull out one of your tents and you kind of like set it to where everyone can kind of stand under it with the the tent pulls all the way up. And now that we're not getting directly rained on, I'll pass the stone around so everybody's cleaned and dried. Yeah. Does the rain stop itching? 
Once you eyes get all clean, it takes it a little bit, but eventually the itchiness kind of fades. Hold on. Isaac puts his hand out in a cupping fashion, in a cupping fashion to the rain. Okay. He's gonna let it pool in his hand. Sure. You get you gather some rainwater in your hand. Does my hand start itching? No. He's gonna pull the rainwater in his hand in. He's gonna sniff it. You pull the rainwater in and you sniff it. I mean, it, it smells like rainwater. Everything else is surrounded in rainwater. It's kind of earthy and you know, it doesn't smell he'll, like rotten or anything. He'll he'll stick the tip of his tongue to it. Okay, hold on. He is not going to ingest any. He's sticking the tip of his tongue to it. I understand. Boys. High or low? Ah. Uh, high. Like my resistance to poison. <laughs> okay. You stick your tongue in there. I mean, it It tastes like rainwater. You don't really notice anything. I don't taste anything that would set it off as this is not rainwater. Can't really tell. I mean, you can give me a medicine check. Sure, screw it. Boop. Heck yeah! I mean, you can definitely tell that this water isn't clean. Um, you definitely would need to purify it before you want to drink it. Um, with your medicine check, you do know that tainted water could come with parasites. So... I mean, that he is a thing. He's immediately doing the... <laughs> thing. <laughs> Red, Abaddon, you see this. Are you okay? Parasites. Rude. I was just asking if you were okay. Not you. The rainwater probably has parasites in it, and that's what we're feeling. Right. So boiling the water for sure. Well, it's going to make travel hard as well also. Also, any orifices such as getting in our eyes, mouth, ears. I hope nobody chews their nails. Everyone looks at Abaddon. What? <laughs> Abaddon in general. I'm for what? I'm fine. You think there's parasites in the water? I think so. <sighs> from what I know, from what I know, water doesn't just make you itchy. So I'm figuring something above us is getting knocked down toward us. Hmm. Would you like me to go take a look? Says Sir Reynard. You know what? Sure. Oh! Excellent, I would love to. And he goes over to a tree and he starts like spider climbing up the tree. You can tell he doesn't actually need to climb the tree, but he's doing he's it just, because he wants to. He's just doing it to show off at this point. Yeah, pretty much. So he goes to like a random tree and he starts shimmying up it like a spider. Ha. Huh. Don't you ha me. So he's going to be gone for a little bit while he's up and in the tree. What are the rest of you all doing? I... Being miserable in the rain? Well, we're in a lean to. Uh, I don't... Have I heard about anything like this in my travels, Cass? Um... Any, you any do survival know. check I can do? Sure, give me a survival check. Does it potentially have something to do with the forests? It's possible. Hey. There's just a shitload of poison frogs above us. 15, anything I know if you do this to rainwater? Um, From what you know, there are certain types of worms that tend to attach themselves to trees. And um, if it rains after a time, 
they allow the rain to wash them away so that they can try to land on living creatures to, you know, perpetuate their existence. Uh, these could include things like flatworms or tapeworms or leeches could be some of them. Um, but those are usually large and you can see those. So as far as like microscopic ones, you're not sure because you've not really ran into that before. Hmm. That was fun. I'm not sure how to counteract this. I'm gonna lay down where the where it's open at, and Isaac's going to look out onto the ground. Like he's watching the ground to see if he sees anything. Like Sure. Ball or plop. He, he's looking for invisible bugs at this point because that's, you know, where he's gotten to. Are, are you thinking like sand mites that are in the Mississippi? Something. All right, I guess you want another perception. Uh, or just a survival check. I got a 12. Okay. My survival is actually the same because I'm not a wisdom based person. <laughs> So, so you kind of like get down on the ground, which is still muddy, by the way, and you are yeah. you are looking at where the rain is falling. With your perception of twelve, you you are looking, and um, you definitely, after some time of kind of staring at it, you definitely notice there does appear to be something on the ground. in the mud and it's it's uh as the rain is kind of coming down and hitting the ground um you definitely think you see something jump up off the ground hey pat's red real quick i do what i'm doing i lay down on the ground all right what now Look out there. I could almost swear I something I thought I saw something hit the ground and then bounce up. Bounce up. Yeah, like it jumped off it. I started looking because I I thought it might be like invisible bugs or something like that. I could have swore I saw something though. Do I see anything, Cap? Uh with your check, go ahead and just give me like a general perception check. At advantage because well never mind, you don't need it. Okay. So, <laughs> I want to roll it again to see if I could have got a double tat 20. What do I see? So, Red, <laughs> you, you, pulls his back. you kind of look out to the ground. Instead of the rain, you, you refocus your attention to the ground, and you do notice tiny little bugs jumping out of the mud into the air and onto the grass all over the place and that's when you realize verdant was never itchy he's not on the ground okay isaac well, do you in, in the bag of colding we stocked up remember we bought out that produce stand yeah still what have a good portion of it what fruits did you have um, here, can I just see the bag? Sure, here, just toss it. He just get, lets him use the bag. I got one sandwich left in there. I don't want the sandwich. Cap, did we pick up any lemons? Uh, I don't recall there being any lemons, but let me check if you have any left. High or low? High. You find the rind of a lemon, but it doesn't look like you have any full lemons left. But the rind of the lemon is what I needed. Yep. Alrighty. So, All right, I back. will. All right, I'll take the lemon rind. Okay. You have Let's like here. one, so like it, it's <laughs> enough. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, while he's up there in little little lean two, I'm gonna build us like a little like heating fire. Okay. And I'm going to. I'm gonna take some water. Boil it, make sure it's clean first. Uh-huh. Then I'm going to rip up the lemon rind. 
and okay. put it in the pot, and I'm gonna boil it to get the essence, like the the zest bits, uh-huh. into the water and make like a, a weak lemon water. You're making a hot lemonade. Okay. Hot. Yeah, without all the good bits. Yeah. Without the tasty bits. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get that, and I'm going to let it boil. When I can start to smell the lemon, I'll get it off the fire and let it cool. Mm-hmm. So. As it's cooling, I'm like, all right, so lemons and the smell and the citrus keeps a lot of bugs away. Mm-hmm. So I'm hoping we, you know, we apply this to our, like, around our ankles. Basically, the same thing you would do for, like, ticks and mosquitoes. Yeah. But with lemons, because lemons keep mosquitoes away and stuff like that. Definitely. You notice at this point where you all were itching. Uh, red whelps are starting to kind of blossom. Mm. Abaddon is 100% covered <laughs> in these. I immediately go into, how do I fix this? Uh, I mean, Red's, Red's maneuver will definitely keep them off. I'm more worried about the whelps. I'll just start flying. Because <laughs> open wo- open wounds in the rain, not a great thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so usually you want to keep anything like that dry, which is impossible because you're in the rain. I mean, uh, if we stay in the tent until it goes away. Till the rain goes away? It's only a week. Fair. Or a hundred years, depending on if we're in fey time. Mm-hmm. Um, you could also put some kind of ointment over it so that the rain can't get into it. Right. Isaac will say that. Basically, sitting there thinking, trying to think of an ointment. Can put mud on it. Uh, what about beeswax? Red, do you have any beeswax? No. Any beeswax? Uh, I know you like honey. Yeah, I don't keep the the wax. Ah. Next time, next time you see one, keep a little of the beeswax. Okay. Always gotta, always gotta be prepared. I might actually start making some medicines here and there. Um, Elise, as a healer, is going to make a roll. Um. She has a no. Never mind. She doesn't have any of her stuff. So she's like, uh, if we find some herbs, I could like create a poultice. Um, but I yeah, I'll just hope we could find some mustard root just for that. Yeah, I mean, yours would probably be good to at least keep them off of us. But like. If it's oh, if the damage already done might be as big of an issue. Yeah. Sorry, Red, have you even seen any plants that you recognize? Like, uh, like legit. We've been running around here. There's a lot of stuff here I don't even recognize. Well, I don't recognize the trees. That I know that much. I I haven't looked for herbs. I could go try and find some, or waiting for other guy. I mean. If you get infected, we have at least one heal from the leaks. Well, I'm I've treated my clothing, so at least for a little while, I should, should be, be good. Yeah. You know what? This is your thing. You're in your area. You're in your element. You know I have faith in you. Do yeah. it to it. I, I'll dab some of my hands in lemon water and put it around my neck as well, and hood up, and I'm going out looking for herbs. So as you step out of the tent, you see a shiny figure kind of plop down in front of you from the trees in like a in like a sun pose, you know, like a praise the sun pose as he l- sticks the landing. Ah, does he does he sink into the into the ground? A little bit, yeah. He's he's trying to <laughs> estimate where the ground is, and he sinks into the living. He goes, oh, stands back up. Okay. There's nothing up there. Uh, there were some sleeping critters, but I decided not to bother them. They usually get angsty when I get close to them because of my coldness. But uh, I don't really see anything up there. So, do you guys find anything there's... down here? 
Kind of. There's some mites on the ground. They're going to give us some issues. Oh, no, they're probably fine. Yeah. They're not. They're not? No. Oh. What are they, what are they doing? Uh, itchiness, red whelps. Oh. We could take a detour. I know a place that's really good for protection. Is it another fey like area? Oh, heck no. They have not allowed near those areas. <laughs> it's only about a half a day from here, actually. We just have to deviate from our path a little bit. It won't even add any extra time to it. We'll just go a little bit to the right, kind of, sort of. Are we going to go to, like, a plate? Are we doing anything like the first time you said you knew an area? Uh, what did I do the first time I said I knew an area? You waved your hand, and then we were somewhere else. Did I? Is it going to be anything... Do you not remember? I don't he know took what us you're to the talking fey. about. Uh, but I'm not a fae. Oh, but that place was. Okay, well, I didn't do that on purpose. Okay. If I can't find what I'm looking for out there, I'm just, I'm making a quick, a quick check for something. Okay, sure. Whatever you need, you just let me know. Okay. He gives you a thumbs up. <laughs> I, I'll sure I'll give thumbs up and I'll just walk out okay. for the herbs. Sure. Give me your delicious survival check. Alrighty. Uh, first I want to stealth because I know there's big stuff around here. Right, right. Stealth it up. I, I don't want to. Well, I think it's the advantage. He doesn't want. <laughs> he doesn't want the big stuff to see him. Yeah, if there's going to be big stuff out there, I want to find it first. Uh, 18. Okay. So, Red, you are you are kind of walking through here. You don't recognize the plants immediately. It takes you a little bit of time, but you realize that they're, <sighs> they're very similar to what you have back on your plane, but it's, um, it's not exactly the same. But they look the same. So it's it's possible that these are what you need them to be. You just don't know for sure. Hmm. Got a solid eh? Okay. Uh, there's one way to... Okay, I'm looking for an equivalent to uh, mint. Okay, That sure. goes on the forest floor quite a bit. You find something that kind of looks like mint. I'm going to check. I'm like, oh, this is really stupid. I'm gonna, just going to... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just, I'm just going to chew it. I'm not ingesting it. Okay, sure. I should be able to tell, I should be able to tell by chewing it if it's an equivalent. Uh, I mean, you do get a very strong minty taste when you bite into it. Okay. I'll grab a few of those, and do I find anything? Okay, so in these equipments, did I find anything that's sal, like mustard, feathermore? Um, yeah, you find a a slightly different equivalent of what you think they were be on Earth. Um, I mean, you find pretty much everything you need. You do have to go for quite some time, so you're gone for about an hour, but you do okay. find uh, at least one or two of each herb that you're looking for. I'll grab those. Okay. And all these trees are pretty much the same, right? They're all very big, yes. Okay. Are these conifers or are they a broadleaf? Mm, more like redwood. Anything else you'd like to do? By the way, Spleen, you are very itchy, but you do use your cleansing stone quite a bit. Because every time you use it, the itchiness goes away, but it comes back very quickly. Hmm. Is um, uh, the, uh, the, the lemon's not helping here? It doesn't appear to be, no. Damn. 
So these things are not going to be... Hmm. All right. Okay. Kath? Yes. Because I've been told that all these that there's like little mites and stuff on us, right? Yes, sir. So I'm gonna stand away from the group. Okay. Um, and I'm going to, cause cause we're kind of covered right now, right? We're in a covered area. Uh, well, you are always. Or, or do we continue area. going? Uh, you but, all yeah, we stopped. Keep going, right? You did not keep going. Right. No, you all stopped. Okay. Uh, put up one of your tents that you guys were standing under, on the mm -hmm. ground. And then Red went off into the forest to try to find herbs. Yeah, I'm going to just step away from the people for a minute, and I'm going to cast a shard on stride on myself okay. to try to burn away all these other things that are on me. Okay, sure. So you do that, and so, I'm sure any bugs in your general vicinity burn off. Be... Does anybody else want their stuff to be burned off of them? If so, step on me. You might get burned a little, but... Thank you. He won't I'll hurt stay that in the much. Tent. I don't like being burned. I'm sorry. It's all right. It worked for me. I don't feel itch anymore. Well, you also didn't get burned. That's true. Burning hurts. True, true. It does, in fact, hurt. Um. So. While you all are waiting for Red to get back, is there anything you all want to do for that one hour? Or are you just vibing until Red gets back? Um, vibing mostly. Okay. Um, do, I'll check the book again. Anything or still nothing? Still nothing. Words are all still there. I was like, I'm pretty sure this, I mean, I, I've said it before, but this place, it's definitely not, like, correct for time. No, oh, no, I... Me and you both are going to have to kind of look at this. We might pop out a hundred years in the future. No, no, no. I think time here is slower. Oh, you think it's slower? Because my book, the the words disappear after twenty four hours of the being in my book written, but it's been two days, and they so far they're still here. I mean, wouldn't that only go if it successfully sent? I don't believe so. Because I, I was able path. to contact uh, Melody. So, Abaddon, remember, your, your books were a test, so you are unsure. Right. Yeah, I thought we ruled out uh, time problems with... Uh... Well, yeah, I guess that would, de that would defuse my own thoughts, because if we've been here, like, if we pop out 100 years later, there's no way I would have been able to talk to Melody. Exactly. So I'm pretty sure... Unless, well, like... It, it just a thought time moves slower here, but... I could be wrong because these books are, you know, test phase. Unless Melody like handed down the other half of the sending stone. Melody is an elf. Long life. That's true. To do with it. Oh God! Yeah. Could you imagine that your boy, your boyfriend from like a hundred <laughs> years ago, just in your head all of a sudden? You're just like, wait, what? Okay. Thought you were dead. Where'd you come from? have a whole family a whole life I just oh i got the milk yeah i got the milk hell of a lie all right so as red is gone just so you all know who are currently vibing here at one point you feel the rain above you stop for a second and then start again and you, you, Abaddon, you're the only one outside of the tent, so you're the only one that would notice this, but you look up and you see a dark shadow flying over the whole area in that, like, dipping in and out of the trees. And so there is something above you, much larger than you, kind of flitting in between the trees. And then it goes away. Good, good, good. <laughs> Hey, there's a giant thing that flew above us for a second. Is that why the rain mm -hmm. stopped? <laughs> well, all right, 
make sure you inform Red when he comes back, because that's his area of expertise. This whole Not place wrong. was made for Red. I really want to just go home. I really, I really, I just. Yeah. The bad thing is, we're gonna get home, <sighs> and we're gonna have to go right back to work again. I, I don't care. <laughs> I do. I want to go home. I want to take a bath. I want to drink. Sorry, I sorry. See I mean, my girl. like, I, I was saying in the way of like, I don't care that like that we. I'm I'm going to tell them now. We need a break. Longer break is what I'm going to tell them. I mean, unless it's like important, because you know we'd go if it was important. Meanwhile, kind of... I'm gallivanting through the woods. Oh, I really don't want to go home. The sooner I go home, the more I have to deal with problems. <laughs> so I'm thinking about have, it. I'm I thinking a, about it. I have emotions I need to sort through, and I don't know what to do here. The person who can't deal with emotions is dealing with emotions right now. Oh, the longer we don't have to go home, the longer I don't have to deal with this. Ooh, mint. All right, so Red, you get back. <laughs> Hey, um, so Elise, I think I found close to what we can get. The, okay. I found equivalents. Uh-huh. Which, by the way, anyone wants a mint? Uh, I'll or take a piece of chew on. Whatever this is. I'll give it a shot. Pops uh -huh. a little leaf into his mouth. Tastes like peppermint. Minty. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so, we have the herbs and everything. Did you find a catalyst? Like, uh, something that I can mix them into each other with? I'm assuming you didn't find any honey out there. I wasn't looking. That's okay. I can, I can deal with this. This is fine. And so, like, she'll take the herbs, and she's going I, to... I, I, I have something, but it's not going to be real nice for all of us, but we're going to feel real warm. Oh. That sounds really stupid. Absolutely not. I got some I got some track of fire whiskey. No. That, that wouldn't work. It needs to be something thick that can make it stick. <laughs> I bet that purple alcohol would have worked. Do you have any mm, syrup? Molasses? Molasses in your cooking? Oh. Nope. Evan or start, Isaac? Starts nope. digging through his bag of cold, and I'm like, I don't think I have anything. Well, this'll work. I'm just concerned that it's going to get washed off in the rain unless we, like, hold it on there, you know? You mean, like, with tree sap? I think it, that wouldn't really help, no. Does anybody have any bandages? I don't have a first aid kit. I'm not the healer. I lost mine. Sorry. I'm not blaming you. Yeah. You said I'm not the healer. That's obviously blaming me, Isaac. Do I? I'm not blaming you. I, I beat up the people that took you. <laughs> I did my part. Don't yell at me. I even beat up Abaddon on top of it. Uh-huh. Thanks. If you don't have the healing kit, it's fine. That would that would be what you would need to have bandages. Um, I, I don't know. Yeah. How about we let's let's save the ingredients. Uh huh. And we um, when we settle in for the night, when it's not going to be immediately washed off. Yeah. I still have my uh clo my uh, cold weather clothing. I have an extra set of clothing. It's probably soaked though. Hmm. Well, uh, let's go to the place that uh Sir uh Ray Raynard said. Right? Do you guys want to? Sure, I mean, what's the odds if it's going to be a Fae twice? 100% now. <laughs> Alright, so you all, uh, uh, Sir Raynard is going to lead you down the path to the right, and he's going to say, don't worry, you're going to love this place. It's going to be really, really cool. Okay, alright. Is so it good go. for mortals? Oh yeah! Definitely really good for mortals. Just don't go to the middle. All right, don't, let's go. What? 
<laughs> so you all are traveling down the path. <laughs> Is this good for mortals? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. You guys are fine. Okay, so you guys are traveling. You guys are traveling. Uh, and and you're, you're, it's, it's getting down this way. And about this point, you all look above you. And through the trees, you sense some movement. And from one, of the, from one of the tall trees in the distance, you see something move, and it kind of catches in the rain a little bit. And you see a scaly body, which is just kind of slick with all the rain, and it's, it's shimmering a little bit from the sun. That's, or not, it's not really sun, but the light that's kind of coming down from the top. And it catches sight of you all, or maybe it was looking at you the whole time, but its eyes are trained on your party, and it jumps down onto this rock next to you before you have a chance to do anything. Let me just get the little guy here. Hang on. Boop! There you go. There's our buddy. And he jumps down onto this rock up here. And you can see, now that he's down here close to you, oh, good. he has heavily clawed feet that are kind of like digging into the stone that it's standing on with a long serpentine tail uh, with everything. And it, it, he's standing on a moss-covered stone, but each time the creature kind of exhales, you see like a mist of cool air coming down, freezing the droplets of water that fall like straight down in front of it. Its eyes are glowing through the rain and the dim forest. And uh, we're all gonna do combat now because it's coming at your party and it kind of goes rawr. <laughs> Is it the only one? You only see the one, yeah. Oh, that thing's so, terrifying looking. Yeah, hold on. So is go. this a quadruped or is it bipedal? Are you asking me, does it stand on two legs or four legs? Yeah. If it's got Why four is, legs. Uh, Why? It appears, it appears to have two, four legs that hit the ground and wings. Okay. Why did you say hoo-wa? Hoo-wa. Well, one, the combat tracker seems to be a little broken. Two, uh, I don't like that there's a death dragon in the combat order. Why unless is there that's a our death buddy. dragon? That's weird. Come that's here. what I'm saying. I don't, have, I don't have a death dragon in here. Why is there what? a death dragon in the combat the tracker? Where's the death dragon? I don't have a death dragon in here. Chat, she's we... using a death dragon against us. Don't <laughs> let her do this. Not. You are in the chat right now. Save us. <laughs> no, hold on. We We've already fought the death dragon. Yeah, oh, these were saved. This was a different encounter. Hang on. I need to delete this encounter. Hang on. That's oh, a bone dragon. Oh, these were saved encounters. That's why. Hang on. I need to... She planned on using it against us again. Listen, only a little bit. Um... And you guys killed the death dragon and or pushed it back to its plane of existence. I don't remember. Okay. Uh, Who killed rolled it. what? Sorry, Isaac, you got a 12? Let me, I'll just uh, update you. Hang yeah, on. I got a 12. Yeah, 21. 21. Okay. Abaddon, you got an 8. Yeah, uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. And then, let's see. Verdant. Got a 9, apparently. Isn't it updating your tracker there, Verdante? There we go. Okay. Poor Sir Raynard. Gosh dang it, buddy. Okay. So he lands down on the ground and he does a very large roar and he is uh he is actively looking at your party as if he wants to consume you. So top of the oh, order, God. red. It's terrible. Uh, this creature is kind of staring you down. Do you want Me to know what it is? specifically? Well, your party. You are part of your party, oh. so. Uh, yes. Yeah. I, I would like to try and identify. Sure. Try to identify it. Survival check. Yeah. Um, 
you Damn. know, this is a dragon type creature. You you obviously know that with the scales, but you know that it is called a Jabberwock specifically. It is a legendary type dragon. You have never fought one before. You know it has regeneration and like really good resistances and you really don't want to be in its gaze. It's got a nasty gaze attack. Okay. Okay. So I was going to roll on it too because I know dragon stuff because of my background, but that works. You got a natural 20. So what do you I'd, mean I'd do by it attack, has a, but... a nasty gaze attack? Like, does that tell me what it does? So a Jabberwock, from what you remember reading about, is it can gaze in a very large area and catch everything on fire. Just by looking at you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Oh, then blind him. Uh, do I get any weaknesses or things not to use against it? Um, it can't be charmed or frightened or poisoned. Okay. And it doesn't have any vulnerabilities. Fuck. And it's not undead. Fuck. <laughs> this is yeah, a no, so, true dragon. DM, I would like to go home. No. Say, uh, unfortunately, true dragons are just built different. <laughs> I don't like this built. Send it back. Um. Okay. And you know that this creature can unerringly track any creature it wants. So there's no oh. running away from it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. So, shit. Okay. Oh, um, fuck. <laughs> well, so, folks, um, it's been fun. It was a great campaign. We will uh, so see you next it time. It lands and it starts scrapping. Like, all right, this is an actual dragon. This is of the legendary variety. Don't try and use poison. You can't charm or frighten it. And I will draw both my weapons. And I'm going to grow my tail. Mm hmm. So I'm going to rage. Okay. Can you grow your tail and rage on the same turn? Uh, raging allows me to grow my tail. Okay. Okay, do we have a rage thing? It's on the Dean. It's on the Beyond Twenty thing. No, no, no. Which I'm looking thing? for like the tag. I'll just. Oh, uh, yeah. There, there you go. Yeah, I, and... his wings a little over his hitbox, but yeah, you are next to it. If you hover over him, you can see his hitbox. He's a oh, three yeah. by three. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, that's a big boy. All right, uh, I will take some swings. Okie dokie. Because I move first, I get advantage on these attacks. You do. 26. A 26 does hit. Okay. Um, three, five, seven. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do I need... I don't need to separate any damage? No. He's not okay. vulnerable to anything. And he's... Unless <laughs> okay. you're using oh. Charm, Frightened, or Poison, you can't... Do uh, I'm more talking about room for resistances. No. Do I, need to, do I need to separate damage? No, he's not taking any anyways. That would be... I didn't say that. So unfortunate. I did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so 16 damage. Okay. Yep. 22 hits. For another 17. Okay. And... You, you run up to him, and while you're charging the creature, you shape and rage at the same time. And uh, use your holy axe to dig into, like, the wing that's kind of hanging down just a little bit from the top of yeah, this I'm rock. I'm just bring them both down. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to rip his wing. I'm trying to hurt this thing because I have an idea, and I need something from this creature after we kill it to do it. Uh-huh. That's my turn. Okay. 
Next up on the order, Isaac. Well, of course I'm going to rage. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. He is on top of a rock right yeah, now. Yeah, I started saying, can I even get to him? Like, you you could go around, and, like, you could go to the to the right side of the rock over here if you wanted to. But Red yeah. was swinging at a wing that was kind of hanging down below. And he has now pulled that back up. Isaac's going to tell Elise to make sure she's covered. He's going in. Question. Are you still tied to Elise? No, you guys made me not be tied to her. Okay. It was in my head, Ken, that she was tied to you this whole time. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. You guys told me, like, you're like, no, we're not doing it because, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Have at it. All right, so you're moving um, forward. All right, did Elise get the uh she thumbs you up okay okay so i guess I... is that a is that a hill or is that is am I, can a I get slight a... incline yes so i can get to it okay yeah so you could come this way and then step onto the rock like over here all right first i'm gonna go here okay Bap, and as i'm going there i'm gonna pull out my javelin of lightning okay it is raining yeah, everybody gonna take a little damage. <laughs> Red. <laughs> yep. And I'm gonna smack this thing. Okay. Boop. Twenty-three. Twenty-three does, does hit. Yes. All right. He's got. I assume he's gonna to make this. It's a DC thirteen of dexterity saving throw for him. He said a 13? Yeah, DC 13. Oh, yeah, he's good. All right. This he straight still takes, I believe. Okay. Because that's just the javelin itself, I think. No, that's the six piercing. So we take six damage. Two rage. So eight altogether on that. And then half of the 15? Yeah, then half of the 15. Round it up is uh, eight. Yeah. So, and I got to 25 on 16. there, so I'll do another. Ten for 35. Yep. That's about all I can do. Okie dokie. So you have both walked a little bit closer. It is the Jabberwock's turn uh, as his scales kind of glisten in the rain. He looks down at you, Red. He looks over at you, Isaac. And then he turns his attention to your squishy mages and, uh... <laughs> I said hide yourself! <laughs> it wasn't her turn yet! Um, okay. So. So. Um. Let's see. Interesting. Okay. Red and Isaac, I need yep. you both to understand that now that you are next to the Jabberwock, you hear a kind of burbling sound uh, that the creature is emitting all the time. Just so you know, that is happening. You can hear it talking either to itself or maybe it's kind of happening in its throat. You're not sure. I don't like We're that. hearing speech? Something. You're hearing something happening in its throat. So. First, it's going to look at Red and look at Isaac. Isaac, did you rage? I have raged. Okay. I don't like that you had to try that. <laughs> had, to, had to test that out real quick. I was just asking. My goodness. Oh, did you rage? That means I can really hit you. <laughs> um, so I just need to... On its As turn, it... you do see that some of the wounds you did, Red, its wing begins to heal already around what you have kind of done to it. And it looks mm. down at you. Uh... 
and Isaac, actually. It can. It can hit you both. So, Isaac, you are getting a tail whip because it can hit anything within 15 feet of itself with its tail and anything else it can hit within 10 feet because it has reach. So it's going to attack you both. Um, Isaac, let me roll against you. Does a... And probably if it's above a 16, it's going to hit me. Okay, then I hit you with the tail. And then red, I'm going. Uh, he's going to do a claw attack towards you. I did get a natural 20. I'm going to uh, use my ability to take the natural 20. Okay, so Isaac, you're going to take the, the tail whip and you're going to take the slash attack. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm taking both. So red, you feel... Hold on. If you don't want to use it, I can just make him re-roll it. I'm more worried about the tail grappling. Like yeah, on the but... natural 20? No, he's <laughs> clawing me with the with the natural 20. Okay, because I can, I can... I mean, if you want I to can... send it back, send it back. Well, I, I can silvery barb something. You know what? Silvery barbs it. So we don't have to use that right away. Yeah, I won't use it then. I'll let, I'll let no Abaddon talking. be awesome. What's happening? I'm silver barbers in the natural 20. Reroll it. Okay. Then I need both of you, because you've already both decided what you wanted to do, I need to roll off of whose hits first. So roll a d20, and whoever gets the higher I one... I was muted, so that's why I didn't go through, because I realized I muted my... d20. I got stupid. Well, that thanks, buddy. That's a little high. <laughs> well, what do we <laughs> do now? It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what, what are we going to do, Kath? Oh, uh, what are we gonna fine. do? Are we gonna do? I'll so let... funny. I'm so mad. <laughs> <laughs> fine, Abaddon. Since you you both agreed to it, I will let you silvery barbs it. That so is Isaac, so funny. You go to you go to take the damage, and you hear Abaddon go. Blah, blah. I don't know what you say with your silvery barbs, but like you do your thing. Blah, blah, blah. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> And you feel the nat 20 uh, crit go away, and he has to reroll. Uh, so the next one to hit you, Red, then, was a 16. That misses. Okay. Let's go. So the only one that I'm currently hitting is the tail whip on it's Isaac. Me. All right, Isaac, this is bludgeoning damage, just so you know. Yep. Uh, it is seven points of bludgeoning damage from the tail whip. Four, so four damage on that. Yep. All right, now where, where's the nasty thing you're going to hit me with? So that's its turn. Uh, Verdant's turn. Um, let's see. Verdant Verdun. would want to attack it with his halberd, so... Mike the son of a bitch. He is on his broom. I already said he was on his broom. Unfortunately, even with his broom, he's just too far away. Uh, he's got reach on that weapon, though. Oh, he does. You're right. Okay, so he's he flies over. Oh, yeah, and he can hit him. Okay, so he does have reach on his halberd. He's going to use reach on his halberd. He's going to try to hit my Jabberwock. Boop. Come on, Verdant. Uh, let's see. A 19 does hit. Okay. So now let me roll Dimage. Good. Okay. Let me take that off my Jabberwock. So 13. Okay. And then we're going to do it again. Because he does get two attacks. Nice. Okay. And then Dimage. Perfect. Can I feel smite him? No. I you told me not to use Verdant's magic, so we're not using Verdant's magic. Um I don't remember doing that, but okay. <laughs> Look, I don't remember that, but alright. You said at the beginning of the session not to waste all of his magic in case you need a daylight. I'm fairly certain you told me that. I'm fairly sure. I don't remember. How about how about we just use some of his magic? <laughs> 
because you don't have to use all of it. Like, I, I don't know if uh, if you guys know this or not. I know Vernon does that, but <laughs> you don't have to use all of it. I mean, as a fairly good paladin, I know that you have to use every spell slot you have and then, t- and then go take a nap for eight hours. Okay, so Elise's, it's Elise's turn because that's all that Vernon could do. She's going to move up ten so that she can hit everyone with Is she going to do the, pal- the other paladin too? No, he doesn't Hashtag get bless. bless. <laughs> She's like, I don't know you. Uh, what do we usually use for bless? No, not that the paralyzed one. Paralyzed one. Oh yeah, kind because it kind of looks like wings. Yeah. I'm so st- I'm still sad that they got rid of literal bless. Whatever. Yeah, anyway, I that one's so common. Like that's yeah. weird, you know. Yeah, Maybe that's... we're just the only ones that uses bless. <laughs> <laughs> Possible. Everybody else is just doing normal things. We're over here crutched on Bless right now. <laughs> I mean, Bless has saved you a lot. I don't know what you That's want. That's true. Exactly. When Donnie had harm, that was a good one. All right, so that's We had Bless and harm. Yep. Bang. So, Abaddon, sir, it is your turn. Okay. Um. Let me... Hear the roar, Abaddon. I don't know if it'll be good. I don't want to be clumped up with everybody because I don't want to do like a breath attack. Move back here. That would be bad, wouldn't it? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to move. Where is it? Where if you start? hover over him, if you see the red box. Yeah, right there. Okay, 40 feet. I guess I'm going to go kind of big to start. Don't hit your companions or do. I won't. I don't care. Yeah, I'll do it. Too bad. Uh. How many does this send out again? I. There's a pretty good chance of them all hitting. It's your choice. What you doing, Abaddon? I don't know. Abadabble? Abadamit. We're fighting Jabberwock. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna shoot scorching the fifth little scorching ray at it. Okay. I haven't done that in a minute. Do it. So I need to roll. Two rays, and you cast this you create one additional ray. For each slot above the second. Uh huh. So that means I make six total. Okay. Do it. Number one. No. That misses. Oh wait, no. I I gave myself advantage from. Uh, I forgot you do that. I haven't. I've been using that the whole time wrong. Silver barbs. You give somebody advantage. I give myself advantage. Okay. The next roll. I'm so dumb. I've not been using that for, for a while. I'm like, wait a minute. It's like I woke up. <laughs> Listen, I, I'll, I'll, I'll roll that one because it's an XT20. It's an XT20, so yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll roll it again. So 21. 21 hits. All right, so there's one. Let's just see how yeah. many hit, and then we'll roll That's number one, yeah. yeah. Number two. 23 hits. Okay. Number three. That misses. Nope. You do a bless. I doubt. I doubt. 22 hits. Okay, I'll roll the bless on that. 15? No, a 15 does not. Yeah, okay. So, how many has that hit so far? You have hit One, three two, so far. Three, three out of four. Yep. 29 hits. Nice. So four out of five. Uh-huh. And then last one. 26 hits. So, so you five got five hits. out of six. So, 10 d6 fire damage. If that's what your scorching ray is. Yep. Plus Do five. it. Forty-two fire damage. Thirty-two fire damage. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Um, and so Abaddon, you make it rain fire for a second. One of them kind of goes off into the trees a little bit in a whoo motion. And then the mm-hmm. rest of them all hit the Jabberwock. Nice. Um. And then. 
Uh, I'm gonna look at uh, Red and be like, hit him hard, please. This guy is, does not look like he's in a very nice. I give a bardic inspiration. Huzzah. Ready with bardic inspiration. Let's go. And that's it. Go. My turn. Okay. Um. Technically, <laughs> Sir Reynard doesn't need to walk in a straight line, so he's going to. He's going, ha, huh, I've got him! And he's going to, like, run up through the air, which looks kind of funny, but, you know, he's see-through, so I'm sure it's fine. So he mm -hmm. runs up to the creature mm -hmm. and uh, comes up to him and with his spectral greatsword slashes at him twice. And uh, both of them seem to hit. And... Boop. And it slashes through the Jabberwock, dealing quite a bit of damage. And he says, ha, I've got it. Oh, just a little bit more. Look at it bleed. And you can tell that the Jabberwock is bleeding quite a bit. Top of the order. Red. Issue. At the start of your turn, anyone hmm. within the radius of the Jabberwock that can hear that burbling sound needs to roll me a charisma saving throw oh shit within that radius yes sir damn so we get a plus two because we're next to verdant well, right? it's red's turn right now and let's see you mean next to verdant yep uh i don't think i his... i'm next to either one of them i don't think his thing gives you a bonus to charisma all saving throws we add, we add his charisma bonus to our saving throws. Okay. It's one of his auras. His charisma bonus is a plus two. So, charisma saving throw. Huh. Was that a nat one? That's not going to yeah. save me. Yeah, it sure was. Huh. Okay, well, yeah, Isaac, six. it's not your turn yet, so we're doing, we're holding that for your turn, so you failed on your turn as well. Yep. Red, roll me a d4. Two. You rolled a two. As you're standing there getting ready to hit the creature, that burbling sound in its throat just seems to get louder, and you just can't think or focus on anything else and you lose your turn hmm. isaac yep. roll me a d4 there's a chance roll d4 unfortunately you fall into the same category as red the burbling sound is just kind of penetrating your brain and you are able to do nothing this turn Next up is the creature, and it's going to attack. Let's see. So it hit Isaac. Okay. And just let me just do a quick little thing here. Hang on. So don't uh, don't uh, don't uh, don't worry about that. Okay. Uh. Let's see. Verdant and Red are nearby, so it's going to attempt to oh yeah no that's fine it's going to attempt to rend your character red that's what it's going to do so i'm going to roll a d20 hey. i don't know why i can't hit you but that's okay he has multi-attack I'm going to try to rend you again. He gets two rend attacks and a multi-attack, but I got a 14 to miss you. Let me try again. Not with that dice. That dice has been failing. Let's try a different dice. Okay. Here's the thing. Red and Isaac, you both lost your turns, right? Right. Sure. Can we get him back? <sighs> <laughs> The creature, which is trying to attack Red for some reason, it somehow 
slips off of its rock and kind of rolls over Red and lands over here behind Red with a natural one to try to hit you. So you don't take damage, but it kind of tumbles off of its rock and onto the ground over here. Oh, uh... it, It's aura goes with it. Cool. <laughs> Not good for Elise. Okay. Uh, that's its whole turn, because I rolled a natural one on a rend. So essentially, you saw the creature, he slashed at you, and then he tried to use both of his claws to, like, pull and rip at you, but he stumbled forward, losing his footing on the mossy rock, and, like, tumbled over you onto the ground. He's not prone, but he's no longer up on the rock. And he's not happy. He's not happy. It's Verdant's turn. Now I need to see if Verdant, uh gets rid of this. Verdant rolled a natural one! Oh my god. Uh, you're going in dice jail. And I'm okay. gonna go ahead and end my rage. I'm sorry. Okay. Verdant ooh, 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 I got a different uh, I got a different number. Okay, so Verdant, the creature either makes one melee attack against a random creature it can see or do nothing if no visible creature is within reach. Where is Verdant facing right now? Verdant is currently facing this way, because the creature tumbled that way. So, I guess, theoretically, Verdant is looking at Sir Raynard then, right? He would be I mean, a visible he, creature. I mean, it'd be a visible creature he could see, so technically he could hit me, him, or Red. Or Isaac. Yeah, technically I am to his right, he can't see me, he is turned my way. That is fair. All right, well, let me let me just roll, and I'll see which one he hits. He's hitting it. He's attacking red. Sorry, red. Uh, so, so that means you don't lose your rage though if Verdon hits you. Yeah, he just got to hit me first. He just has to hit you. Well, that other dice is in dice jail. So let me try. Hang on. Ooh, I'm fairly certain Verdon hits you. Does a twenty-two hit you? I am so tempted to use my thing to take it for him so I don't lose my rage. I mean... Do it. Actually do it. You know what I am? Fuck it. I'm taking it. Okay, so you... Verdant turns towards Red and goes to swing at you, Red, and you definitely feel as if his halberd would have hit you. Uh, but you feel no damage. Isaac, you take this much damage from... Uh... Verdant's Albert. <laughs> so you don't lose your rage. Yeah. How much do I take? Uh, well, the issue is three, he three swung... Three slashing, five radiant. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can't half the radiant. Yeah. Five damage for that, and two for the slashing. Mm -hmm. Three. Three. Oh, did you already pre half it? No, six was no, I'm, the I'm amount. telling you it's three damage. Here. Red halved it. Yeah. That's what I was asking if he had already okay. pre-halved it. Red halved it, yes. So that's Verdant's turn. It's Elise's turn. Now that Elise is in the circle, which she wasn't before, she has to roll versus the burbling noise. Okay, Elise. Go away, Elise. What, well, the issue is... Can she get away? She wasn't in the circle until it rolled a natural one. What is your charisma, Elise? Let me see. I oh! Uh, Elise succeeds! Okay, so she hears the burbling sound, but she is not taken by it, so she's gonna go, no, no, no. No, okay. no. And she's going to go we, this we, way. <laughs> have we had the return of Ultra Instinct, Elise? Apparently, because she did uh, circumvent it. So she's over here. Uh, you all are currently blessed. I want you to keep the blessed, so I don't really want to do anything that takes her thought process. Um... Spiritual weapon wouldn't break it. She could summon a spiritual weapon. Yeah. Yeah. She's gonna summon a spiritual weapon, which should not break 
bless. Not the spiritual weapon. Yeah, it's not concentration. Okay. So she's going to summon her spiritual weapon to attack the Jabberwock, since she doesn't want to be near it. Um, so she's going to summon it to here. She's summoning her spiritual weapon there. And it will attack the Jabberwock in her place, because she doesn't want to get close. Spiritual weapon, go! Spiritual weapon hits. And does seven force damage. Very nice. That is Elise's turn. Next up is Abaddon. Abaddon, you are outside of the radius, so you are not currently Yippee. affected. But you do notice that all of your companions seemed locked in place. Good. That's phenomenal. What would you like to do? Um, like, like, like they, they look paralyzed or like... They haven't moved. They're like, Verdant attacked Red, but Red and Isaac haven't moved. Huh. Uh, I, uh, um. And Elise ran away to your side. Yeah, hello, Elise. Hi. Hi. Uh, should I try to polymorph it, or would that be a bad idea? Uh, I don't know. Might be too strong. Maybe. Uh, did out of character, Red? Did you tell us that? Or like, or like, did you yell that it chases people? Uh, he didn't say that no. out loud, no. It then, no. Uh, okay. Uh, it, it might work, but I don't know if that would help with whatever they're under right now. Uh, so I'm just going to hit it, I think. That's probably a good idea, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's on the quick. Wonderful. I want to do that. Um... Please don't miss this. Please go to miss this. I hate you for saying that oh, me. Oh no! What have you done? <laughs> Why are we all rolling that ones tonight? All right. You used all my luck. <laughs> okay. Um. Listen. Uh. Abaddon, high or low, buddy? Low. Hey, if I get hit, I don't lose my range. Other people. Okay, what does Chromatic Orb do exactly? Uh, it deals a lot of damage. Okay, but it's like... It's an orb. So it, it has to hit so someone. I, I, I hold out... Uh, yeah, I, I hold out... It, it's a diamond component, I think, that I have. Okay. Yeah, and, and I hold it out, and in front of it, a four-inch diameter sphere of energy. Uh, I hurl it at a creature that I can see. Uh-huh. And then it takes damage, yeah. So, Abaddon, so. I need you to roll me a d6, please. Okay. Should we go one, two, three, four, five, six? Yes. Or is that the sixth one? That's the sixth one. You don't count. You can't hit yourself. I can't, I can't do this on myself? No. Roll a d8. <laughs> <laughs> Roll like one two for the big guy. <laughs> Roll a d6. <sighs> yeah. All right, so you hit the Jabberwock. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. But it's only going to do half damage cuz you rolled a natural Damn it. one. That's fine. That's still a lot of damage. 42. Okay. And the splash half. damage goes to red. Right. Hey, you're welcome. You, you keep your rage, I guess. Uh, so the Jabberwock's taking 21, and Red's gonna take the other 21. Oh. The spell kind of goes off, Abaddon, and you feel it's wrong somehow, and it gets to about, like, here, and then you see it shatter and hit the Jabberwock and Red. That's what your nat one did. See, I, I think I was trying to think about polymorph at the same time, and that kind of messed the spell up. Sorry, Red. My bad. I apologize. Screw you, dragon. Suck it. <laughs> Are you cursing it? 
Yes, I flipped it off too. Oh, okay. As are you are you vicious mockering it? No, yes. Oh, no? Yeah. Yes. Take a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Uh I got I got a four. <laughs> yeah, yet <you> afraid idiot. <laughs> Seven. Got it. Okay. Points of psychic damage. Psychic damage. You see it kind of like shake its head and then glare at you. Nah. Yeah. Uh, it is Sir Raynard's turn. Uh, let's see. He has to. Is he immune? You are. But is that a thing? Uh, yours is a charisma saving throw. If someone is immune to charisma-based effects, would they still have to do a charisma saving throw? They would, right? It, it depends on the charisma-based effect. So if it's like, if you are immune to all, if it's like all charisma-based things, then I guess. Hmm. It doesn't say saving throw here on his note sheet. It just says a condition immunity. Oh, what's the condition immunity? Charmed. Okay, yeah, so he he's not... Okay. Charm would specify for charm. That's okay. He has a plus nine to his charisma, so I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. He's gonna go, ha! The creature moved! How dare you! Get back here, fellow! He's gonna move over this way. And he's going yeah, he to attack it. He could be all up in it. his face, maybe. He's trying. He's trying to be all up in his face. I got a nat 20 on Serenard. Gosh, we can't roll other things today. That's fine. No, it's only 20s and 1s. Yep. There we go. Okay, so the Jabberwock takes another couple slashes from the from the spectral blade in its in its hide, and he is not looking too good. He is really not looking too good. The first one kind of like cuts into his abdomen quite deeply and it's top of the order red charisma saving charisma. throw all righty i'm terribly sorry please roll a d4 a three, three. uh the creature can do nothing except move all of its movement to move in a random direction. That would get you out of the circle, though. Okay. So, I guess, decide a random direction um, and then move all of your so movement that way. One, two, three, four. Okay. Three, so... I have to use all of my available movement. That's what it says. All of the movement. I know that's going to push you off the map. <laughs> so, let's go. Yeah, just, yeah. It, the map it's doesn't go combat. that far. Red is basically out of combat for this turn, but you're out of the circle, so, like. The, do I get an attack opportunity? No, you weren't actually within its its threat range. You were one square away. Yeah, he's got reach. That's why I'm asking. Oh, shoot, you're right. Yeah. He would get an attack on your way out. You're right. Would he take it, though? <laughs> I mean, low. if he does, if he yeah, does, he's, doesn't that... Uh... He's, he's going to take Yeah, I, I'd rather keep the rage. Yeah, okay. Seriously, if he takes it, does that stop the whatever he's got going on there? Not unless he has some kind of something that reduces his movement speed to zero. I know there's a lot of those that do that. 19 kind of red. Um... No. Actually... Miss. Miss. My tail blocks it. Nice, nice. Okay. And my AC is 25 right now. All right. So you move out of its threat range. It does not kill you or attack you. So you're out of the yep. picture right now. Sorry, Red. Uh, but you're out of the circle, which means you can do stuff next turn. Isaac, I do yes. need a charisma saving throw, please. 
Oh, this ought to be wonderful. Boop. I'm sorry, 13, 13 is... Plus his two for a 15? Does bless give you bonuses? I'm next yes. to her. Right, no, I meant bless. You are also blessed. Oh, I also get blessed too. So you're at 15. 15 doesn't make it. So roll a d4. 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 meets it. So you barely pass it. The burbling noise in your brain is very difficult. But with both the paladin's essence and Elise's god pushing you through, you are able to finish your charisma saving throw and not get incapacitated this turn. Yes! What would you like to do? Well... So the uh, spiritual weapon is there? It is, yes. That is Lisa's spiritual weapon. Uh, you can't get flanking. flanking, no. You'd have to be on his backside, unfortunately. And he's a three by three, so this is. Can I get on his him. backside? <laughs> no, his backside's over here. <laughs> no, not me like getting on his back. Oh, oh, I got you. No, this is this is where his body's here is a three by three. Yeah, there you go. Just gonna run under his wing. No. Yeah. He's just a little big for his square. Don't don't question him. Don't question him. And I'm gonna start smacking. Do it. He kind of hisses as you draw as near. Oh, as it gets close, I'm gonna go ahead and use my uh giant's might. Okay. Then you're going to get bigger, right? Big. Okay. Well, then here's the thing. If you're going to use your giant's might, it's going to use a legendary action. It's going to do wing attack. The Jabberwock beats its wings, and each creature within 10 feet of it must succeed on a dexterity saving throw. Or be knocked prone and take a little bit of damage. So give me a dexterity saving throw, please. And since I can see it, I get advantage. Fine. Within 10 foot of uh, Sir Rainer, do I get anything from him? Uh, I don't think the Paladin Abilities affects a Dexterity saving throw. All saving throws. They also don't stack. Well, whichever, one's, I... whichever one's higher, that's the one you get. Yeah. Oh, plus I got Blessed for a saving throw. Boop. For another three. Very well. You succeed and you don't get blown down. But Sir Reynard and Elisa's spiritual weapon have to roll. Hang on. Does a does a spiritual I'm weapon kidding. have to roll? It was a joke. Like no, that's like a legit no, thing. The spiritual does weapon has to? HP. Yeah. But I don't think it can go prone. Just lays on the ground. Let me see. Hang on. So this this is her. Sp no, don't do that. Whatever. I was just trying to look at the spiritual weapon. It's I don't know why Elise has my picture. Weapon. I was I was on your character. Hush. Ah. Uh, I <laughs> I activate my spiritual weapon. It's just Elise's spiritual weapon. It's Isaac's it's just, just waving his hand. It's just Isaac waving his hand, acting like he's controlling it. I, I don't know. But, uh, either way, Sir Reynard and the spiritual weapon succeed, so they're both fine. All right, Isaac. All right. Well, it tried. It was very grumpy. It tried to push everything down, and nothing fell down, and now it's angry again. That's okay. So am I. <laughs> Tell me Apparently the tale. Apparently not enough. Oh, no. Nope, that misses. I don't think oh, a bless on. can save you there. Nope, you need an 18. Damn. So you need a 4 or better on a dice roll. Nice. 29. Does a 33 that... hit? 
Barely, barely. Give me your damage. Plus a d6. Got so, it. 23 altogether. He's going to go ahead and action surge. Okay, sure. Let me mark that in my thing real quick so I don't forget to do that. Action surge. Boop. Right, start swinging it again. Boop. Do it. Do thine action surge. Yes, perfect. Give me your damage. That 20, that shit. You guys are just on either side of the spectrum today, aren't you? It's either nat 20s or 1s. Nothing in between. Right. So that we're was... We're on some ridiculous rolls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's nuts. So that is 10 there. Plus 6. So 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Add in this. Is the holy damage doubled also? No, sir. Okay. For a crit? Just your quiffin. Yeah, for a crit. All dice rolled normally be doubled. Yep. Well, DM has spoken. Uh, I think it was 24, 25, 6, 7, 28, 29 damage. Okay. He is severely bleeding. You can kind of tell his abdomen has been terribly cut open. Twenty-one hits. Just for the just for the make sure. Yep, yep, that hits, that hits. So twenty-one plus Two, so 23 damage on that. Okay. So, Isaac, you are slashing at this thing with your axe, and you eventually cut into one of its wings, breaking it off. And your axe kind of goes backwards, and you come down and crush into its chest a little bit. And as you do that, that burbling noise that was kind of a soft whisper before explodes outward. And everyone in this radius, I need you to roll me a one more charisma saving throw, please. Which would be you and Verdant and Sir... Renard. How did you forget your own guy's name? That's I'm crazy. I'm not. I'm reading and trying to roll dice, uh -huh. sir. Okay. Plus, plus. I. So it's 18, 19, 20, plus whatever ability... Yep. Sir Reynard yes me. Uh, so Isaac, you are able to brush off the surge of like weird energy coming out of the creature as you hear like the last bit of its breath just screech outwards, and now it's currently laying there on the ground in a pool of its own green blood. I take the head. This is mine. I have been after a dragon's head this entire time. Mine. Now just so you know, the weird burbling sound is here still. It's not as loud as before, but it is very unnerving. You don't have to roll for it, but it doesn't seem to stop. I cut the head off and separate it. No, that's fine, but that's not where the burbling noise is coming from. Where's it coming from? The body. I cut open the body. Red, you you can come back at this point, obviously, okay. because you were you were only gone for a turn. And in that turn, Isaac has killed the creature and is now decapitating it. And taking the head. Hmm. Okay. We are out of combat, so like you can rush forward, Red. It's fine. Yeah. It's not I'm... fine. It's not fine. <laughs> nope. I see Isaac cutting into it, and I'm just gonna walk right up to it, light my axe on fire, and hit it one more time. Because I know this thing heals. Okay. Sure. I just, like, separates the head from the body. This is mine. Okay, so, Red, you're coming up, and you're hitting, what, the head? I'm just hitting the body. The body, okay, okay, okay. Yep, with, uh, Searing Smite. Roll an attack. Oh, since he's gonna start messing with the body, Isaac just walks away with the head. 
Roll an attack. Um, is it prone? It does appear to be prone, yes. All right, you don't miss. Roll your damage. Just in case. Because it's technically wounded, so 19. Just something ahead. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> Yeah, all right, so your fiery axe goes into the body of the creature, singeing its way into the chest cavity. And as you do that, you feel like a gaseous form emitting from the center of the beast and kind of spreading throughout the area. And finally, that burbling sound ceases. So, and I need for my thing, I'm going to take... One of its claws. Red, got the head finally. Yeah, I know. You kind of fucked that up, but all right. What? I finally I got a head. I've been after it forever. Yeah, no, I, it's fine. It's fine. I killed it. <laughs> I mean, I took its head. How much more dead is it going to be? It can regenerate. Okay, that would have been a neat trick because I have its head in my hands. <laughs> Wait. A terrifying thought. I dead sprint over to Isaac and I grab the head and look at the stump. Is it growing a new body? Interesting. Interesting <laughs> idea. I'll burn the nub if I have to. I mean, it does not appear to be regenerating. Okay. Just making sure. Wouldn't that be so screwed up? Just like... I know, right? Pull the head off one, now you got two dragons. Now, question yeah. though, Red, did you look into its eyes? I looked into the stump to see where it'd be healing. I'm not okay. looking into its eyes. Okay. Yeah, curious. the eyes are pointing I know this down. thing. I know this thing sets things on fire by looking at it. Okay, just curious, just curious. Just look ahead, like, oh, I wish we had something to preserve it. Don't look at its eyes, by the way. It can set things on fire by looking at you. Oh, I was just gonna put it I was gonna put it in a fire. I just want the skull. Oh. Well. I've been after a dragon skull this whole time. I got I got screwed the last couple times. The guards took my last one. Well. All right. I got a claw. This will help. Abaddon, do you have something I can, uh, you could start a little fire with or something? My fire bolt. I mean, can you do that without wasting a bunch of stuff? Yes. All right, hold on. Let's let's try to don't don't look in the eyes. Red said, "I just I need the flesh off it. I just want the skull." We not do this elsewhere. It well, is raining, and you all are starting to get itchy. Oh hell! All right. Uh, can't put it in my bag of holding. You gotta carry it with you. Just put something over the eyes. I don't know. And he takes a rag out. He takes like a piece of cloth, wraps it over the eyes. He wraps it around the nub too, so that way there is no possible way for this to come off the eyes or slide down in the rain. Okay. Sure. And then he's going to uh, tie the rope through the through the mouth and up around so he can like sling it to his body. Sure. That seems fun. You have one Jabberwock head currently attached to your body. I feel like Kath's going to take that away, take this away from me. Just don't craft it to yourself. You'll be fine. Okay. So you all... Craft it myself. I was making an Elden Ring reference. Uh, oh, okay. So mm -hmm. uh, you all have finished killing the Jabberwock. And at that time, Sir Raynard looks on you and says, oh, we have defeated a very foul creature. Good job, team. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh. What? That's right. You're cold, aren't you? I am cold. <laughs> can, can you can you make this head cold? I'm trying to I want to make sure it doesn't like start trying to grow up trying to regrow while I have it. I'm just going to I'm going to take the skull later. I just need to make sure it's not, you know. Ah. No, I've, I've only ever seen one of those at a time. Usually after you kill one, it takes a few years for another one to appear. 
So I don't think we have to worry about it. I killed one about a century ago or so. Oh, cool. It was much bigger, though. <laughs> this one must have been a small one. You know what? A dragon's a dragon. Ah, he, yeah, he's telling the truth. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Bro. I mean, yeah. I miss, That's two I in miss, a row. That's two in a row. I miss Donnie row. so much. <laughs> Every time two, we make anything two. remotely close to wisdom that's not perception for me, I always like, man, I really wish Donnie was here. <laughs> God, I miss Donnie so much. <sighs> yeah, Donnie's off saving the world somewhere else. Didn't kill him mm -hmm. off. He's still there somewhere. Yeah. One dwarven party at a time. Yep. All right. So at this point, uh, Sir Reynard is like, well, now that we've defeated our foe, are we ready to continue forth? I just tie the claw to my bag. Yep, let's go. Excellent, let's go. excellent. All right, let us continue forward. I will take you to the safe haven. It is quite beautiful. <laughs> And you all continue on through the forest. Um, it takes you not terribly long, only about an, another hour or two of walking. And what you come upon is a giant tree stump. And I will, I will switch you to the view, but let me set the mood when we switch to it, okay? So you all are coming into a clearing. It's still raining. But as you all walk into this area, you see a massive ancient tree stump. You can only assume what would have been probably the largest colossal tree that may have been the biggest tree in the entire forest. But the stump it appears to be hollowed out. And inside, you can see this from a distance, there is a huge radiant green crystal uh, appearing to be held in place by uh, intertwining vines. Uh, and the whole thing is kind of pulsating a very soft green glow. And above the crystal, you can see something kind of swirling around it just a little bit. And after walking closer to it, you can see that it appears to be five swords floating gently rotating around the top of it in a in a like a clockwork pattern each sword unique in its own way with ornate designs that shimmer a little bit and as you're walking up you can see that there's a pool of water under it with a giant sword kind of sticking out from underneath of it and it's just the blade though from underneath the uh the tree stump um you guys want to get on up into there? That's what you see as you're walking into here. And just the air around you seems very calm and serene and just very comforting. Everything about this seems very, very comforting. I'm going to do a shardle on strat on myself so I get rid of those stupid bugs that fell on me again. <laughs> you don't seem to have any in this area. Like, as soon as you get close to this area... The itching and everything seems to stop. You still have the welches and everything, like the, the little cuts and bites all over you, but uh, you don't mm. feel itchy once you get into the aura of this thing. Okay, um, well then I'll stop. I want then. Does that look deep? Does what look deep? The water. Uh, do you go up to it? I'm going to go up to it. Okay. Isaac rec recognizes that's a blade. Uh-huh. He is going to get close enough. Now, you know, he figures if something's going to pop out, yeah. he's going to keep, he, he's waiting for something to try to pop out. I mean, it's raining. He'll take a so... stick and like, see how deep it is. Yeah. There is a uh, floating lily pads kind of like on top of the water here. Um, and you can definitely feel a bottom. Could I stick? Like, could I walk into it and walk to the sword? The Isaac sword wants is to high. see the craftsmanship. If you can see it, if you wanted to get up on top of the stump, probably, but it would be above you if you got into the water. All right. Well, I'm going to go to the top then. Isaac is something that big. The craftsmanship of it should be amazing. He's looking to get, he's looking to see what he can figure out. 
okay. see if he can pick up a pick up a uh, secret. Does anyone not want to go to the top? I'm going to the top. I'm going I'm, to the top. I'm looking for a place that is sheltered from the rain in sight because I need to do a ritual. Um, I mean, you can go under the roots here if you wanted. I need to be able to start a fire. You're in the middle of a rainy forest. There's not really going to be a lot of coverage. Yeah. I mean, I guess it has to be a fire, just the way I've always done it. Yeah. I have it on walking up. I wait there. I'll I'll just hang back, and I'll just like take it over here. Okay. As a goal. Where where can I see it from? Do I see it from the back, or can I, or do I have to go into the stump? Uh, you can like come over here and see it a lot easier because it looks like it is being held under the bottom of the tree. Okay, so I get, I I got here, but up there, right. you think you could see it from up here, and you go to look like in the middle where you think that there's like a hole that should lead straight down but instead of seeing the sword you see underneath the crystal is a kind of miniature universe you see a vortex of stars galaxies cosmic dust and in this miniature universe you feel as though you could fall into it at any time um, but it's all contained within this small hole inside the tree stump. Is it close enough you can touch it? Do you want to try to touch it? No, I, I just, is it that close that you could just like waft your hand through it? You're not sure. You're not sure where it starts and where it ends. Can I just take magic, yes? Sure. I, I'm going to go on a limb and say it's all magic. Well, I did, what kind of magic? So you are magic, magic. you are using magic on what specifically? Because everything's uh, kind of magical. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna sense the. Yeah, I can sense the presence of magic in thirty feet of me. If you sense magic this way, you can use your action to see faint aura on any visible creature or object in the area that uh -huh. bears magic. And you learn a school of magic of any. So, like the swords, the crystal, and then the pool. Okay. Is what I'm kind of focusing on. Sure. Um. So. <sighs> don't you yawn at me when you're asking me things? I'm. This been a long day. I'm tired. <laughs> I'll be awake early tomorrow for coffee with a friend. Coffee. I'll be awake for five thirty to go for coffee. That's that's really early to be awake for coffee. Mm, I work at seven. Um. Okay. So, the crystal appears to be releasing some kind of evocation spell. And you're unsure what the vortex of magic is. And the sword um, just appears to have an enchantment spell on it. What about the swords? For, for like, magic? Yeah. Yes. Um... The swords above the crystal is what you're referring to, correct? Yeah. Evocation. Is what's on the swords? Correct, sir. The, so what's crystal, on the crystal, the green crystal, and the swords appear to all have the same spell. Evocation? Evocation. Okay. So there's okay. a there's a galaxy in a giant sword that's been forged. In a stump. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna look. Actually, I'm gonna take out. Um, I'm gonna take out here. I'm gonna take out a dagger. And I'm just gonna drop it into the vortex or into the galaxy below. Okay, you do so. You have lost one dagger. Do I see it just go? Uh, or does it disappear like right away? I mean, you see it fall for a little bit and then you can no longer see it. Keeps going. 
I wonder if I could touch it. Like that the galaxy. True. I wonder if I could go in and fly back out. Should I try? Eric, just how close is it to the to the edge? Like can I firmly plant myself where I'm not just gonna tip in? No. You're not sure. I'm telling you this. You're not sure where it starts or not, and you have the feeling Ugh. that it's trying to pull you in. Nope, nope, I don't like that feeling. That, that's what, is what I told you before. Sorry, my brain did not comprehend that. Should I go look into it? No, it uh, kind of feels like it's trying to pull me in, so... I mean, yeah, but that's with a lot of things. Alright, uh, how about you just cast Identify on one of them swords? At the touches. Ow. Really need a look version of that. There's not. There's none. I mean, uh, there might be an, an item, I don't know. but I doubt it. Mage hand. Hey, sir, shiny mm, pants. Uh, yes. I, I, I can't get you through mage hand. What's the swords do? Each one of them gives a benefit for resting in this area. You so just, just have to rest here for eight hours or so, and you should be as good as new. What oh, does so the hole do? I'm not sure. I've never played with it. I kind of want to play with it. Well, is this the play? Is this the tree you were talking about? Or no, this is the uh, the safe place, right? This is the safe place. You said you needed some place to rest. Yes, here you are. This oh, is okay. a lovely place. I just wouldn't stay here terribly long. You never know what else is in the forest. We did just fight a Jabberwock too far back. That is true. I really want to go in there. Yeah, I, I really want to see what the... Well, I do, I do want to let you know, as soon as you go in there, you probably won't come back, because no one ever has. Ah. I assume it, it, we can't just take a sword either. Is it because they fall? I'm not sure. But every creature I've ever seen go in there, either beast or spirit, has never come back. Oof. Has anybody been able to fly? Spirits? Well, no, just like... I mean, maybe. Like fly. I think Can that's a no fly? this time, Abram. Even I'm giving up on it. I think that's a no. I want to touch the shiny portal. I do too, but we're not going to because if we do, bad things will happen. You sure about that? Probably. You we sure have about a track that? Record. At least, can you detect evil and good? Uh, that's usually a paladin thing. Verdant. Yeah. Or Serena, can either of you detect evil and good? Uh, I've checked in this area before and it's all neutral. This is just a tree. A tree with a galaxy in the Just forward, a right? tree. Yeah, that's great. Red, I'm assuming I, you did a ritual I, to the side, right? Yes. How long does it take? Uh, I think that's up to you. I'm asking a question, and I'm offering a trophy to hopefully get a better response. I got you. Okay. With the detect magic, can I see, like, the portal? Does a portal give off anything? It does not give Or whatever this is. No. It's not magical at all? You cannot sense any magic on it. So you're not sure if it's not magical or that there's nothing that you can sense. Wonderful. Am I close enough to the sword underneath to see if that is magical? Is it true? can't currently see the sword, no. <sighs> okay. You do feel very comfortable here. That's good. Can I look at my book? Sure. Anything new? Nope, nothing new. I, know I was just going to set up a tent over here. I'm going I'm to try my sending stone. See if it works. Yeah. Can I have a tent here, Kath? Can you what? I was going to ask if I could have a tent there. Sure, I'll find you a tent. Thank you. I'll, I'm going to use my setting stone to see if it works. And just be like, hello, it's it. Sorry, um, not that. Be like, oh, oh, yeah. Hello, is this working? Still on another plane. Time is weird. Time is weird. 
11. Okay. Um, hope this goes through. If it doesn't, we'll try again tomorrow. Much love. Kisses. And that's my message. Okay. You okay. feel the energy in your stone go off, and you don't get a response. I'd angle my tent in a way that I could see the swords and the crystal. And I'm going to sit down and I'm going to sketch it out. I want to sketch out the blades and the crystal and the tree. And I want to keep as much detail as I can see from the blade. Sure. Sir Reynard. Yes. Has anybody ever touched these blades before? Um, I'm not sure. They've always been spinning as far as I've seen. Okay. Um, Beth, can I, can I go up and just gently touch and like kind of spin around with like how fast they're spinning? Very slowly in a slow okay, spinning. You can tell though, as a magic user that what they're doing is probably continuing whatever spell is currently being cast. Okay. Can I, I want to like, just like go up, like fly up and like kind of float with one and just like gently place my hand on one of them. Sure. And I'm going to cast identify. Okay. Doesn't identify hey, what, take sorry? a second? It takes a minute. Okay. So that's why, I, that's why I'm floating with it and holding my hand on it. Okay. Um, so you are flying with the stone or sorry, the sword and doing its mm -hmm. thing. When you cast Identify, um, what you get back from it is that the sword appears to be giving off a revitalizing aura, and the spell that it's doing is everyone within the tree stump gains 10 hit points at the start of every one of their turns. Oh, wow. So everyone in here is currently healed up, because you've been in here for quite some time. Nice. Oh. Uh... Now I'm going to go touch the crystal and do the same to the crystal. They appear to all be in the same aura. Like same. They all, they're doing the same spell together. Okay. Okay. So what, like, what, would I gather that from just the sword or do I need to do it on the crystal too? No, you would gather that from the sword. It's okay, all okay, the, okay. one big spell okay. that it's giving off. You do also gather from it with your identify that if you take a long rest here, it restores all of your hit points, all of your spell slots, and removes any negative conditions, including curses and diseases. Ah, so this is where we should have went. Yeah, this is definitely where, well, yeah, well, one. As Abaddon starts uh, immediately setting well, up camp. It'll, if, it, if it does what it does, then it can recover me on my constitution, too. Well, Because it's, it's a remove here. curse thing, so. Get rid of it, right, Kath? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, we're definitely sitting here. Okay, I want to touch the magic portal, dude. Yes. All right, Red. Uh, we're doing your yes. ritual now. Uh, okay. So you do your ritual. And yes, what is I'm... your question? Where am I? You get the feeling that... Your god is trying to get you to look inside the stump and ask your question there. As in All right. this, the, uh, the lights inside the stump under the crystal. Running? Abaddon? Hello, excuse me real quick. Do you mind if I just get right where you're at? Abaddon? Why here? Why can't you be there? Okay, fine. I'll, I'll get here. I'm looking into the pretty portal, too. Okay, cool. I uh, take my axe, cut my arm so I let some blood drip in there because it's part of the ritual. Okay. <laughs> it it just goes down for a long time. Yep. Mail or where am I? I was doing that thing. You see inside, like you're you're looking inside of it, and you have the feeling that right now your question just one question will be answered for you. 
And as you kind of look into the swirling vortex below, you see an image of you, and then it zooms out, and it zooms out, and it zooms out. And all you can see for as far back as it zooms out is forest upon forest upon forest. And the answer that you get is Elysium. You are in Elysium. The deep woods. I just withdraw my hand, put my axe away. And after that oh. image finishes, you can see the swirling stars come back. I turn to the group. My god's here. Now, this is where we will pause for today. As, uh, as Isaac has set up a tent and he has started to sketch the crystal below or above and him. And I moved out of the tree for a very specific reason. I want to make sure that the skull is not healing also. <laughs> it's not. No, it is very dead. You don't need to worry about that. It's, it's very, okay. <laughs> very dead. <laughs> All right. It is very like... dead. <laughs> it gains 10 health points. Every round you're in there, oh no. <laughs> no, no. Oh, no. Right. It's dead. You cut its head off. It's very dead. It's right a Jabberwock into a galaxy because that's where I'm going to have to take it. It's it's regeneration stops working if it, if it ends its turn with zero hit points and doesn't get a chance to regenerate. You Good. didn't let it regenerate, so it is dead. Yay. So you all have made your way to this weird sanctuary type tree. And if you do take a long rest here, it'll basically heal any of your bad symptoms. But this is where we will pause today's session. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate that. We will be back next week for more D&D &D to see how far they get and if they will get to the tree tomorrow. Or sorry, next Monday. And if they will be able to defeat it within the next session. Thank you, everybody. And we will see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.